So the staircase, they're saying that the staff used to use the staircase to serve cold and hot teas to customers. Um, that's pretty cool. This is the staircase. Guys, so this is it! The original pearl milk tea! Sorry, I just got called. Sorry. To get seated. A little different than all the rest A quite old fashioned where I had sometimes played chess And when I'm out I'm looking for that vintage flame But all complexions that I adore Hey guys! Welcome back to See by Some Places. This is Lessie. So y'all, um, I am still in Taiwan, but I came to this part of Taiwan known as Tai Chi. T sorry, Tai Chong. I don't know why I said Tai Chi. <laughs> um, but it's away from the capital city, Taipei. About two, two and a half hours, depending on traffic, depending on who's driving, and all that jazz. But anyway, so I have a confession. I should be in Vietnam by now, but uh, I waited almost till like last minute to apply for my visa to Vietnam. And because on their website it says it takes like an average three business days, and I timed myself in the way that it was exactly three days out, and that backfired because they ended up uh, taking additional a day and a half to process so I was like okay instead of just being in Taipei the whole time let me go explore other parts of uh, Taiwan so I decided to come here and I've been here today is my second day um, but I have something really really fun for you guys today so if you know anything about bubble tea Okay guys, quick interruption here. So I realized that not everyone may know what bubble tea is. So this is for you if you don't know what bubble tea is. It is basically tea that has tapioca pearls or balls that are chewy. It comes in different flavors. Some people call it bubble, some people call it boba. I personally flip flop between the two. It doesn't really matter. What really matters is that it is really delicious, especially when paired with tea. Now the bubble tea market is super popular, it's super big around the world. It is actually valued at a few billion dollars and that is projected to increase in the next couple of years. Okay, now let's get back to the vlog. And um, guess what? I'm going to the first bubble tea cafe, the place that bubble tea originated. The place is only nine minutes walk from my hotel. But anyway, I have to use my phone for Google Maps. So I'll see you guys when I get to the cafe. Okay guys, I made it. This is the coolest thing ever. Never in my life did I think I was going to be in Taiwan in this place. This is what travel does. Oh my god. Look at that. Look at that. The original store of Chan Shua Tang. Established 1983. So I think, uh, oh, the sun. I think there's like a line or something. There's a wait. I'm going to go ask. Um, but I'm super excited. I don't know. I love stuff like this. <laughs> Alright, I can't wait to give you guys a tour. I think there is like two levels. I think there's an up and a downstairs. Let's peek a little bit before we get seated. So yeah, it definitely looks like there's two levels. But I don't think I can go down just yet because they haven't seated me. So, um, let's just play the waiting game. Alright, so I just got a paper. Uh, I have to wait 15 minutes 
to get seated, which isn't so bad for uh, a store like this that has so much history. I thought the line was going to be longer, um, but yeah. So the paper they gave me is actually the menu items, and it looks like you have to check the box of what you want. Uh, it's in Chinese, and it also has like in English uh, translation right next to it. So it's pretty cool. You know what I wonder? I wonder if they have like the original tea that was first made, like if they still have that formula. Uh, I would really love to try that. I'm gonna go ask if they do have something like that. We'll find out. You never ask, you never know. Sorry, I just got called, sorry, to get seated. I'm a little behind because I had to record. Sorry. <laughs> The guy's like, hurry up, lady. Oh, sit there. Okay. Thank you. I don't know if I want to eat. I think I just want to go order different drinks and taste it. You know? They have one here. It's called the Creator of Milk, of Milk, a Pearl Milk, milk Tea. I need more details on that, but I'm gonna try it. Usually I don't care for milk based tea, but uh, why not? They also have a passion fruit one, so that looks good. Excuse me, do you know how this works? Do I just like take the paper upstairs? Or? Yeah, 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 you just you can take all the clothes on um, what I want. What you want and just stuff that the, uh, the counter upstairs. Okay, yeah, have you eaten here before? Yes. What would you recommend? Um, I sometimes eat noodles. A noodles? They have noodles. Okay. You want to eat or just drink? I think I want to just drink, but then I won't mind eating too. <laughs> Maybe like snacks or something. They have snacks. Oh, okay. They have uh, potato chips. Potato chips? They have chips. Okay. It's good? <laughs> okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, Nothing Taiwanese. Huh? Oh, they have. They don't have any English version? Oh no, no, no. They do? They do. It's too small for me to read. Um, all these are small stuff. But uh, the Zhumai, they have... What is that? They have... Um, this is new. They um, fry... Deep fry shrimp. Mm. Are these... This is sweet. It's taro. Mm. Yeah, this is quite Taiwanese. That is okay. sweet, mm -hmm. sweet, salty, sweet stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. And this is um, the fried chicken. Okay. The very tiny. Oh, they have fried squid balls. I want to try that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that good? Um, the okay, is quite expensive. I think it's quite expensive. Oh. It's only three tiny, tiny three little balls. Okay. okay. Really Maybe balls. I'll stick to the drinks here. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> That's the main reason I came. I came because this is the original <laughs> store, right? Yes, yeah, they, they start from here. They yeah. have many um, outlets here, but this is where they start. Yeah. And uh, they claim that they, they start the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> from here. You don't believe that it started here? I, I, do, I do, no. These shops starting here is from the original so bubble tea. I think they're happy. Really? But they have quite um, they have evidence, they have the staff can tell you how she established that. So. Oh, so I can ask upstairs? Huh? Somebody can tell me? Oh, I'm not sure. Oh, okay. I can talk to the staff and see if they can tell you. Okay. I think I, I, was, I was so interviewed some time ago um, how they start in the 1980s. Okay. So what's the other store that's competing with them? The other store are not doing as well as they are not doing as well. But they are lost for small drink store has got the So they do quite good, but not like that. Because they provide new and other other yeah. things like that.
Okay guys, so I wasn't able to get the information that I needed directly from the staff, but I did my own research and what I found out is that the lady is right. There is another prominent tea house in Taiwan that's also competing for the title of the inventors of boba tea, but Sean Shui Tang is still widely known and accepted as the originators. And an employee that used to work there by the name of Leo Hun Chi is credited as the inventor. The story goes basically on a whim. She put some tapioca pearls in some tea and the rest is history. Now, I don't think we will ever really know who started it. But I think it's pretty dope that they still have the original tea that is today credited as the world's first boba tea. Are you want medium size or small size? I'll try small. Small? Yeah. And then you can change sugar? Sugar. Uh, half sugar. Half sugar. Yes. Okay. And uh, ice? Yes, ice. Less ice. Or no ice? Less ice. Less, Less ice. ice. Okay. Less ice. Just drink? Yes, okay. for now. 90? Okay. Yes. She shared. you. Guys, so this is it. The original pearl milk tea. <laughs> So I'm gonna do a sip for you guys, a first sip. All right. So the tea is really good. It's not too sweet, but it's because I order less sugar. So one thing that's cool about ordering drinks in Taiwan, they always ask you what level of sugar you want if you want like full sugar, 50%, 20%, or however much you want. They don't just give you drinks, they'll always ask you to tell you your percentage. So I told them I wanted half sugar, so it's not too sweet. But the bubble is different. It really is different, and I'm not just saying it because I'm in the original store. The texture is a little bit firmer than the other bubble that I've had. And the size is a little bit smaller, but actually I take that back. I've had bubble with small size like this. It's pretty good. Um, I think it's just really cool to be here. So I ordered this with french fries and um, I'm just going to take my time to drink it up and enjoy the moment. And Um, sometimes it feels forced to take the camera and position it in their face. So sometimes I just let the, the movement flow. Um, but anyway, she told me that she thinks the food here is overpriced. <laughs> so I'm just going to get drinks and I got fries and then I'm going to go look for somewhere else to eat. But I just wanted to come here and check it out get a drink here. Okay guys, so I got a to-go cup. It is guava jasmine tea. 
it's pretty good it doesn't have boba in it um, but it's really good so my thoughts on that place is that it's super cool um, the boba is different is I would say it stands out from the at least the boba that I've had it definitely stands out the combination with the milk tea is amazing but yeah that was pretty cool so honestly I wanted to go get something to eat but I decided to walk around check out the place a little bit more just uh, we'll see you guys later I hope you enjoyed this vlog I really wasn't trying to talk too loud because I don't know the vibe there the ambience just seemed a little bit cool I didn't want to be invading people's privacy and space so I may do a couple of voiceovers just because I'm not sure if you could hear me clearly um, but yeah but yeah thanks for hanging with me guys on this super dope experience let me tell you that boba tea is all that no cap and I'm not just saying it because it's quote-unquote coming from like the originators of boba tea it's really that good it tastes like luxury like you know uh, maybe the Jeff Bezos of boba tea <laughs> and guys the truth is we probably will never probably really ever ever know who really started boba tea but i'm gonna go with the theory that this store started it because i'm gonna be using this in my fun facts that i've had the world's first boba tea <laughs> all right y'all thanks for hanging with me take care of yourself i'll see y'all next time if you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for